Now in this video, we're going to see how to do question one on the practice for application Z7. Notice that we're looking at SAT scores, which are normally distributed. So we'll be working with the normal distribution. The mean is given, and the standard deviation is given. And that fully characterizes the normal distribution. Now we're concerned with this college, which has a minimum score of 1,897. And the question is, what percentage of students earn scores that satisfy the admission requirement? So that means they earn a score of 1,897 or greater. So remember that percentage goes along with probability or area under the curve and we really want to know is what is the probability that a randomly selected individual from this population is going to have a value of 1897 or greater. And when you go to use Excel for this the norm dist function will take an x value like 1897 and a mean and a standard deviation but what this is calculating What this is calculating is the area to the left of 1,897. Right? By default, uh, normdist calculates the probability that the random variable is less than whatever x value you put in there. And so we want. We want the probability that x is greater than that number. Well, since the probabilities add up to 1, we can actually just subtract this from 1 and get the probability that we want. So 1 minus norm dist would be the probability that x is greater than. Now this is a percent number. The output on Excel is the decimal number. It will convert it to a percent if you want. It's 8%. Um, and you get that just by moving the decimal point two places to the right. And we want a percent number accurate to one decimal place. So again, if you convert this to a decimal, or sorry, if you convert this to a percent number, it's 8.0857%. And if this is rounded to one decimal place, it's actually going to be 8.1%. Mm -hmm.